So here it is. I mounted my foam pontoons to my Holy Stone landing gear. You can get this landing gear on lazada.com.ph if you're in Asia. It's only about $6. Works well, folds, and comes off easily. I made the pontoons so they don't get in the way of the sensors and they're wide enough to be really stable if you land on water. So here's the underneath look. All right, let's get to the video. All right, today we're going to try to make some landing gear for my Holy Stone HS720E. This is the one that does not have a gimbal and has electronic stabilization. But uh, I like to fly over the water. I live on an island now, so I'm always at the ocean and I'm always scared to fly more than a couple hundred meters offshore. So it would be hard to, hard to get it, hard to get it back if it fell in the water. Right, let's check out some of the things that I need to make this. And uh, I'm just going with it. I didn't really plan anything out yet. I just got a general idea of what I want to do. So let's check it out. Okay, I've got my soldering iron. I'm going to use this to try to burn lines in the foam. But first I'm going to test it and see if it's going to work, see if my idea is going to work first before I do anything to the foam as I don't want to ruin the foam. I've got my hot glue gun. Everything's just warming up. So this will be to glue some things and try to keep them in place. Once again, I'm going to test it on the foam first and see if it works. I got these folding landing gear. And I say these because when I bought it, I thought I was ordering the propeller guards and the landing gear. They sent me two pieces of landing gear. So they're foldable, which is pretty cool. Smaller to carry around. So I'm going to use these. We've got some foam noodles. So I got this landing gear from Lazada.com. It's for the Holy Stone 720E. The legs fold under to make it easy to carry, which doesn't matter to me. But I may end up locking them in place just with some glue to make sure they stay exactly where I want them. You gotta make sure you line these up with your sensors and your lights underneath your drone. And I already marked lines on them with a pen. You see my lines here. Those are for the legs. Now I'm deciding, should I put this and line it directly up with the center of each one of these noodles? Or should I rotate them inward so I have a wider stance? Well, that's what I got the, the soldering iron for. I'm going to burn a groove in them and set them in there and see what they look like first, move them around before I put everything down. Well, here's how I'm going to test the foam to see how it burns. I just happen to have a piece of foam that I was using for a, a Nerf dart holder for a Nerf blowgun I made. And this is an extra piece. So I'm going to test the, so I'm going to test the soldering iron out on this first. I want to make sure I want to make sure when the solder, soldering iron burns along the lines it doesn't burn and spread that line out too much so let's just test it and see Wow, that actually eats it apart quickly and that might be too much for what I need but let's just try to make a deep groove in it All right, so even though I tried just to make it a really thin line so the landing gear would fit in it, as it, as you put it in there and you think you've got a thin line, it keeps on melting. So that may or may not work for what I want. That may be a little bit too deep. What's gonna matter now is if I use my glue gun and if my, I put the glue gun on it and it melts it. So let's see how hot the glue gun is. Let that sit for a second and see what happens. It doesn't look like the glue's, oh it is now. Well it didn't look like the glue was melting it. You can see it's on zero. zero. It definitely is melting it. I've got it set for grams. I'm just gonna fold the drone legs in or the landing gear legs in and set it on the scale. So it's right at 45 grams. So once again, I'll push these in. I cut these notches so I can rotate it. Once again, that'll take the landing gear from sitting here 
to going more outward. That way there's nothing in the way here and it's a wider base and a wider stance. It should sit on the water much nicer. Once again, all I used was the knife. That was the easiest thing to do. And I rotate these outward. Okay, now let's zip time. There it is. Let's check it out with the drone on it now. Once again, I lined up my sensor and my lights with the holes here. There it is. Okay, one more thing I want to do to this because these are folding arms. And I'm never going to need to fold this. And I actually don't want it to fold because I don't want the chance that it hits something on the way down and then it lands funny in the water like this. I don't want that to happen. So I've got my hot glue gun. I'm just going to run a thin bead of glue in here. Just to lock that arm into place. There's one. And here. Let's just make sure that glue is all the way in that crack. Perfect. And one more. Now let's get a total weight on the scale real quick. Okay, so the total weight of this is 50 grams now. That's about what I figured. So with the zip ties and the glue, it's 50 grams. All right, now we're gonna test it out. Got my HS720E and my landing gear. You can get this landing gear online. I got it at lazada.com.ph and then US dollars, probably about $6 or so. It's made for the Holy Stone. You see the sensors, everything lines up here, so I line the holes up. All right, we're gonna do a water test. Let's see if it works. Take a look close up. You can see how these just clamp onto the sides here. They clamp onto the frame of the drone. Just make sure it's already all the way clamped on. Unlock the motors. There we go. Look how windy it is. Bars, but let's test it out. I'm just going to go in super shallow water and see what happens. We'll see how this looks on the video later, but with this electronic image stabilization, it's trying hard to keep it still and it's doing okay. Right, let's try a water landing real quick. Let's turn this so you can see the water. Yeah, super windy today. This might get dangerous. Let's do it super... Super, super shallow. You get ready to run in the water, babe. All right. I'm ready. Whoa. Bring it back up. Getting nervous. You see how windy it is just by watching the drone. Take it down. Wow. We're good. Let's unlock the motors and try to start it up and pull it off the water now. Oh, yeah. You can see it's super, super windy. I'm nervous out here. I don't want to drop my drone in the water, but now I know when I'm out flying, I can take this and I'm not going to have any problems. One more time. Let's do a water landing again facing us. Take it down. And it looks perfectly stable. It's not leaning one way or the other. It seems to be balanced out really well. Let's unlock the motors again. And one more takeoff. Oh yeah, what's up now, sucker?
right, and there it is. Check it out. The landing gear works great. Nothing's wet, even though it's a little choppy out here. Super, super strong wind, and this was able to work well. And then to take it off, piece of cake, just unclip it. Now you got your drone back. Pretty cool. Get close up on that, baby. Oh, yeah. So the wind speed today is about 24 kilometers per hour. It was really windy as we were driving here and really windy. We tried to find this little uh, cove type of area, hoping it would block some of the wind. But once you bring it up a couple of feet, it's really windy. But as you can see, it was able to land nicely with no problems. And then you can unlock the motors and start it back up again. I had no problems. This is auto takeoff. So after I unlock the motors, I just hit auto takeoff and automatically pops right back up. There are no problems at all. Easy. And here's the second landing. I turned the drone around. I'm trying to keep everything shallow, so I really don't want to go running out in the water after it just in case. And once again, it lands easily, has no problems. The motors are able to arm, and auto takeoff works just fine. These uh, floating landing gear really came out really good. Hard to keep it stable with all this wind, but. Take it back up. Indicate whatever. There we go. Unlock the motors. Look at that. That's a good example of a rough landing. Alright, let's try let's try to bring it back up, unlock the motors, and auto takeoff. Let's bring it back and let it down. Let it hover for a little bit. Doing pretty good in this wind. Let's drop it down. Right. That time you can see on the rough landing, I got a little bit of splash on here. But that's okay, I can wipe that off. It's not going to get into anything. That one hit the water pretty hard and it's windy out here. All right, so there it is, guys. It works well and it's definitely gonna save your drone just in case something happens and it just decides to land on its own when you're over the water. Works well, let's go. I hope you enjoyed this video. These pontoons worked out great and uh, this will make it a lot safer for flying over water, especially when the drone dies and it decides to land on its own. All right, I'll see you in the next video.